Hello Booktube and welcome back to Friday Reads. Uh, this is uh, July 22nd. Again, it's going to be short on the reading part. Uh, the heat here is still, uh, well, it's dropped outside dramatically, but inside it's still just stifling. And without the fan that you can hear, um, you know, it's just a, yeah. I won't go into details, but it makes my brain turn to mush, more mush than usual. So reading is very difficult, but I have read 100 pages out of uh, Mark W. Tideman's, um, or Tideman's Mirage. And so I'm getting near to the end. I've got just over 100 pages to go. I'm hoping that I could do that um, over the weekend, fingers crossed. The... Future History Project is my priority this year, period, uh, uh, for, for everything pretty well. So, And I'm weeks behind now, but uh, fingers crossed I can get caught up. Uh, and also, too, I've been doing a few videos every so often. Uh, I've, been, I've been doing a video, and I've been, I was recording a bunch of those science fiction quickies. So if you haven't checked those out, do look into the... Uh, playlist, or actually, I'll leave a link to the playlist if I can uh, down below. And I've enjoyed doing those, and they're kind of interesting. Um, they're shorts, um, so I'm 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 actually uh, doing a few other things with those as well. Uh, you don't get to see this; it's this. <laughs> so that might that might be if if you don't like this, and you prefer this then head on over to the to the uh, uh, playlist and, and watch. They're, they're less than a minute long, so they're, that's why they're called Quickies. But yeah, and on Sunday, there's a new castaway for Desert Island Books, and I'm really, really pleased with how this series is going, and I want to thank everybody for commenting uh, and, and thank all the castaways that have have agreed to sit in the hot seat. <laughs> uh, and I ha I've had a question of, of you know, how many, how many castaways can fit on this island? Well, you see, it's a multi-dimensional island. They each have their own dimension. Uh, and Sunday is, uh, well, I'm not saying who it is. You have to wait and see. It'll be Sunday, 5 p.m. Uh, GMT, Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, which is noon Eastern uh, uh, time in the, in the States, uh, 11 Central, I think it is, and then uh, 10 Mountain, is, am I correct here? Uh, and then 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific, if I got that all correct. But anyway, uh, just check your... Check your uh, it's Greenwich Mean Time, 5 p.m. here, so you you can figure out where your time zone is in the world. So if you're if you're on the other side going um, going east, then that's a different matter. <laughs> you're on your own there. You ha you have to look it up. Um, but yeah, so and, and it's also there. There will be an announce. Well, it's it's been an announcement, but uh, we talk a little bit about an event this castaway is doing in august which is a really nice event and i've jumped on board immediately for it because it gave me an excuse to do a few things that i've wanted to do for quite a while so yeah so that's another event that he's doing and myself and mark are doing um we're, we're, we're launching our our uh plan uh plan for world domination and in August, and we're doing uh, misplaced authors, and our first author is Dornford Yates, and um, it, we're reading the first two books. Well, Mark's reading the first Chandos novel, Blind Corner. Let me see if my memory is good enough here, and I'm doing book two, Perishable Goods. Uh, but also, too, we are doing. Uh, our August of Adventures, uh, which which sort of coincides, and we're trying to dovetail this. 
So we're doing Treasure Island, and Treasure Island will be our audio, our audio escapades in the second week. But we're reading it in the first week. And then we're, we'll be looking at, uh, more specifically, we'll be looking at the, um, the Orson Welles uh, Mercury Theater on the Air production in, in the late 30s, 1938, I think it was, uh, specifically. And we'll, we'll talk about other, other uh, versions as well. Um, and, and then the third week, we is our silent moments, which is silent film. So our first read is, I think if I got this correct, first read is, is Treasure Island, uh, for August Adventures. And then that transposes into the second week's, uh, audio escapades. Our second reading, a week reading for, August Adventures is The Lost World by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which transposes into the third week, which we do Silent Moments, and we are doing the 1925 silent version of Lost World. And then in the fourth week, we are doing Tarzan. We're reading for our uh, August of Adventures. But don't forget, I'm also doing... Babylon 5 2022 and you know we have to get behind this you know because the Federation is coming up our backside <laughs> yes the dreaded Federation so uh, we'll be doing I'll be doing that for August and September so there's lots happening in August there's a lot of other events as well and there'll be some surprises, I think, throughout this. So I'm hoping there will be surprises for people. And also for a fifth possible book, if, if we can fit it in, in at the end of August, is Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe and possibly the, the sequel, uh, The f Farther Adventures of Robinson Crusoe, as it was originally titled, then later kept being published as The Further Adventures. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's what's happening. I'll try to leave all the links down below here um, for you to, to, to check out. Um, and uh, I, I've received a, a few things uh, this week as well. Um, uh, Freeman, uh, one of my subscribers, uh, we have uh, a mutual love of old old film and, and Blu-rays and with lots of extras and stuff like that on. Um and he, because we did the the uh, June on the Range, he asked me if I'd ever seen the film Jubal, uh, 1956. And I was scratching my head, um, and I'm still not sure if I've actually seen it or not. If I have, I've basically forgotten it, and I'll know once I start watching it again. But he was so kind to send me um, a gift certificate which allowed me to add a few pennies to it to get the Blu-ray version of this, uh, the Criterion version. And it's, as I say, 1956. It stars Glenn Ford, uh, Ernest, excuse me, there's an alarm going off here. Um, let's start again. Glenn Ford, Ernest Borgnine, Rod Steiger, it was released, as I say, in 1956 uh, and directed by Delmer Davies. And it's based on a novel by Paul I. Wellman, which I don't know. So I'll watch this first, but I think it this might be a good uh, excuse for a book to film at some point. But also in here is Noah Berry Jr., who is the son of Wallace Beery, who is in, and this dovetails nicely with the 1925 version of Lost World. He plays Professor, Professor Challenger. But not only that, he played um, in the first sound version of Treasure Island, 1934, I think it was, or was it 37? Uh, somewhere in the 30s. Uh, which we'll probably talk about at some point. Uh, and also, Wallace Beery 
I can't leave Louise Brooks out of this, that he was in, I think it's 1928. Uh, it was Louise Brooks' more, well, last silent American film, more or less. Um, Beggars of Life. And he was, he was in there with, uh, with Louise Brooks. So, yeah, I, I love how these things sort of the connections that weave back and forth through things. So yeah, so again, thank you, uh, Freeman. I'm going to enjoy this. I'll see. It depends on how the temperature is. I'll try to watch it uh, Saturday, uh, tomorrow night, uh, as as a movie night for me. And then and then eventually maybe get the book or something like that to to do a book to film and then rewatch it again. Uh, oh, what else? One other thing that that came. I this was off my own back, as. There's no secret here that I like Clifford Simak. And I am collecting or getting stuff to do a massive read-through, and that's everything that uh, that I could possibly get, his journalism, uh, articles, everything that was written. And there's one that I've, been, I've known about for a while, and I, I've got to scan a PDF of it, and I thought, that'll be fine. But when this, when, when this popped up, because I had it as a search thing on, on eBay... And it popped up, and I got an email for this, and it was only two pounds fifty. I could not say no to that, and you know I can I can get those pennies together, <laughs> and I did for Clifford. And that is Galileo. It was a short-lived magazine. Oh, wonderful cover, isn't it? But yeah, a short-lived magazine. I think there, I forget how many um, issues. This is number thirteen. There might have been 30 issues at most. But as you can see, this was the first publication of uh, the uh, Ring, uh, Ring World Engineers by Larry Niven. And it's got the first part in here. But also, at the top, as you can see, it says Simac right there above my finger. And what the article is is a, sort of a shared article. It's on the 10th of Apollo 11. And it's there's written uh, bits written by Hal Clement, Paul Anderson, Frank Herbert, uh, J.E. Purnell, Frederick Pohl, and Clifford D. Simak. And also in here, which is really cool, is interview um, H.L. Gold by Jeffrey Elliott. Uh, drowning for hire is only one of the curious anecdotes former Galaxy pioneering editor and SF author H.L. Gold has to relate. And unique perspective on some of the genre's more rambunctious moments. That should be interesting. I'll definitely report back on that. But also, too, I was surprised to see, because I never really looked at the PDF. To go, oh, look at the back. I think it's... oh. Yeah, look at that. I didn't even notice that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry. I just had to geek out there for a moment. But also, look at on the back, inside back cover. It's Cliff. And a little blurb. But it's interesting. When you look really closely with the light, you can see somewhere along, it's either this way or this way, you can see a signature on the original photograph. But... Obviously, it's just sort of black on black, so it must have been a color photograph, I would have thought. But yeah, no, that's the man himself there. So yeah, no, let's just have another little look at that. Now look at how gorgeous that is. This is an interesting magazine. I would love to have the whole run of it. There, there's a lot of these things. There's something called the Aboriginal 2 that was a really cool magazine. Um... There's uh, All Glow. Uh, they, they all sort of have the, this look of this because I think they they come out about the, the, the same time. So, yeah, I think that's it for my Friday reads. So, yeah. I'm trying to get it all in, in, in the thing and I can't see. But, it, yeah. Um, yeah, so that's my Friday reads. Do check out uh, the links that I put below. As I say, we are doing Mark at uh, Book Time with Elvis are doing August of Adventures. I'll leave that video. And then our world domination videos of, uh, well, I didn't name this, a misplaced authors. I don't think I, I mentioned that. That's where we're looking at sort of forgotten authors. 
may not be completely forgotten out of the public's eye, but and it's just that they've fallen out of favor generally at some point. And then we're doing audio escapades, and that's looking at full cast audio. A lot is going to be dealing with old time radio, but there will be um, other stuff as well. Uh, also, the third week we are doing. Uh, silent Moments, which is silent film. So for August, that's pretty easy. As I say, it's Treasure Island for audio escapades and Lost World for for silent moments. And then in the, the end of the month, we'll do a wrap up and talk about the, the following month. So do do check in with us for this. I think this is going to be really fun to do. Um, yeah. So that's where I'll end it there. Take care, book two.